our objective in the fight against COVID-19 is to prevent the outbreak of the virus and its spread in our operations and community. We came up with nine critical controls that we have now successfully rolled out in our operations. First and foremost is what we call self-monitoring, where we require each person to monitor themselves at home. Should they have symptoms, then they would be able to contact the health facility where they will be given assistance. Then the next control is what we call screening, where in at arrival point at, in the workplace, there is a place where screening takes place for uh, some of the uh, symptoms like high temperature, um, and also checking recent travel history. Another key control is what we call awareness and communication, where throughout our workplaces, we disseminate very key information about the coronavirus and in particular precautions required to prevent the spread of the virus. In the workplace itself, we have now reconfigured the way we work so that uh, we can now uh, align with the requirements of fighting this virus. So today, the new way of work is to have meetings online using technology, and this promotes the social distancing. There is also what we call sanitary cordon, where we monitor people that come from uh, other zones to our minds, and we control who comes here, and when they come here, they follow the COVID-19 protocols. We also then partnered with uh, the community to understand the needs of the community. We assisted particularly schools within the region to have the necessary masks for students and teachers. In the process, we empowered uh, the small and medium enterprises in the region who participated in the making of these masks. We partnered with the health uh, facilities in the region to support them with uh, required PPE. We also partnered with the community to identify a suitable isolation uh, facility, which is in one of the communities in the region. We have now tested over a thousand people, being our employees, our business partners, and some members of the public, and uh, we continue to monitor if there is any cases. We want to encourage everyone to come and test so that they can know uh, whether they've been infected with the virus. Should anyone test positive, we'll give them the necessary support um, so that uh, they can be assisted and cope uh, with the virus until they recover. And uh, we hope that uh, anyone in such a situation would be able to recover. Thank you.